Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, if you haven't read by today's title, is going to be a chit chatty get ready with me. I'm just about to head out to Manchester for my cousin's birthday. We're going for some food at the new restaurant Lucky Cat. I think it's Gordon Ramsay's. So if you want to see how I did this makeup and get to know me a little bit better, then keep watching. Jump scare guys. Let's get into getting ready. So as you can see, I have some rollers in my hair. I air wrapped it today. The way air wrap just doesn't work the same as it used to. I think where I used to have bleach in my hair and it was a bit more coarse, aka dead, my curls just stayed in so much better. Now that it's dark and a bit softer and a bit, you know, healthy, it just doesn't hold. Like, can you believe I spent two hours air wrapping my hair? I just have reblown these front pieces and popped them in rollers in the hopes that it's gonna, you know, stay a bit better. As long as these front pieces are voluminous, I don't care. I've not even told you where I'm going out this evening. It is my cousin's birthday, well it was the, this week, so we are going to this new restaurant in Manchester called Lucky Cat, I think it's Gordon Ramsay's. The inside looks so, so nice, um, and it's like Japanese sushi style. Millie, sushi? I actually don't know. It's giving. It's giving shape. It really is. It's a readjust. Love it. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like sushi vibes. Sorry, I'm just going to have my mirror here. Apologies, it's going to keep going in and out of light, I think. Which is a bit of a, a bit of a bummer. I wonder if I can balance my mirror here. Yes! That's going to work. Um, it's like sushi style which I absolutely love and I've not had sushi in ages, so I'm very excited. Right, skincare, Heart Leaf Anwar 70% Soothing Toner. This is literally like my favorite ever toner. And I bought it in like September, October time and I've not even finished a quarter of it. I'd say I've finished like one sixth of the entire thing. Now I'm going to go in with the Rise and Shine Hyaluronic Acid Essence Toner. I absolutely adore toners at the minute. I think it's the, the key to great hydrated skin. I'm not going to lie. My skin has been being good other than like the odd spot that I've been getting but I haven't been the best with like keeping on top of my skincare, I'm not going to lie. Routine in general hasn't been amazing on my end so far in 2024. I have done really well at like training, being on top of my nutrition but we're taking it one step at the time with, with routine and things like that. Sleep has been horrendous next week we're going into the third week of jan next week and that is my main focus getting on top of my sleep getting on top of my screen time guys my screen time on average last week was nine hours and the reason it's that high, uh, high is because some of the days my screen time was 12 hours which means i wasn't i just i just was never off my phone other than when i went to sleep which is absolutely disgusting never again the cordially vino clean toner next so yeah that is my main focus for next week i'm gonna try my friend super super into reading and she has so many books so i'm just gonna go to her house and steal a book i was really wanting to get into a self-help book again i've read read a couple over the past couple years but they are way harder to get into and then obviously a fiction book so i think i'm gonna start off with you know like a romance fiction which i know i love and then get into my self-help books but the idea is that i should be reading for at least an hour before bed one it'll make me tighter and two i'm not having like screen time or blue light before bed so fingers crossed i get to sleep easier since christmas i've been going to sleep at like one two three a.m some days which is really not good not only for like the day after but also i'm in a bulk i'm wanting to gain muscle and sleep is so so key for recovery and rest etc so if just for them reasons alone i need to be i need to be getting better at it sorry i just went in with the snail mucin um i don't even know what this brand's called cortex cortex something like that yeah it is 
Core. Core 6. Core 6. Snail mousse in. Um, and my skin is now a bit more hydrated. Now I need to go in with moisturisers. I'm going to use the Laneige... What is this called? Water Bank Gel Moisturiser. I like this. I've almost run out. I'm pretty sure um, Jacob's sister gave me this when I was in LA. Because she didn't use it that much. And that is skincare done other than my eye cream, which I need to find. This is the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I got my eyebrows done the other day and where they've been waxed is still super tender. I think where I'm using tretinoin and obviously stronger active ingredients, waxing um, isn't the best idea, but you won't catch me plucking my eyebrows, that is too painful. Okay, now to start with the makeup. I think I need to go in with a primer today. I never really use a primer, I'm not gonna lie. I have the Wee Cherie Gripping Primer by The Beauty Crop, which I'm gonna attempt to use. I did have this in a different tube, but the pump didn't work. I think a lot of people had that issue. See, I've only just got one pump out and now it won't pump. I think that's enough, do we think? These nails, please, please, please ignore them. I so need to get them drawn. My nail tech absolutely hates me because I always book in last minute, but my shoots with honour and things like that are always super last minute. For example, I'm now shooting on Tuesday, it's Saturday, and they asked me to do it yesterday. So I've had to book my train and my nails are so grown off and I've had to message her and be like, please, 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 please can you fit me in either tomorrow or Monday, which I highly doubt she's gonna be able to. So I might just have to rip these off and start again. But these are my real nails. Ignore how grown off they are, but look how long they are. Bye Ab, best, best ever. Right, my skin is super, super, super tacky now. I always start with my eyebrows. Going in with the Pink Honey um, glue, hold glue. How bad about Pink Honey actually, by the way? Not good. Just to lay the brows down, stick them down as much as possible so they don't move. To be fair, it isn't really even that good. Like my brows always end up moving throughout the day. I need to find a new brow product, I think. Got to be glued. Do you think? Mm -hmm, always. Got to be glued. Literally the hair gel. Oh, the hair gel? Yeah. I just put it in a little pot and it's so good. Oh, okay. Maybe I need to do that. Sleep in it. Look at them bad boys. They are laid. How's everyone's New Year's resolutions going? I think my main ones have been going well. So being on top of my training, being on top of my nutrition, that's been going well. One of my New Year's resolutions was to start reading. Have I? Yet? No. But there's still time. Concealer, I'm just gonna go in and carve out my brows. I'm gonna go in and blend that out with this flat brush. Speaking of goals, this week I made myself a physical vision board. I'll insert an image on the screen now. It was so, so much fun. All I did, ordered a pin board off Amazon. Um, I think that was around £30, maybe a bit more actually, they're quite expensive. Um, it's linked in my Amazon storefront down below. Printed off loads of images and I actually did this with Jacob. I got him to also pick out images off Pinterest that he wanted on there because I wanted it to be more like a joint one. He's not really into doing vision boards, but he really enjoyed to pick out images. Um, and then I inputted them all into free prints because printing off that many images on my printer would have cost me so much in ink. So using free prints cost like six pounds and I had 60 to 70 images. And then I got some clear little pins also off Amazon and sat all evening and made this vision board. It took me about an hour and a half to actually do it, 
but once I'd sat down I was so into it and it was really really enjoyable I would highly recommend it if you've not done it I always do you know the vision board for my laptop and my phone but actually having that all out in front of me and now it's like on the wall in my room as you'll have seen by that little clip I've just inserted and um, so every morning I could just be like that's nice because I'll be honest I'm not really looking at my lock screen for long because I'm just my face ID pops up and then it's unlocked again so I don't really even though it's on my lock screen of my phone I don't actually look at it a lot so having that there in my room just makes it so much better and I kind of got a good look at it all throughout the day <gasps> that is correct that bronzer is correct that is a disaster I'm just gonna go in with this bronzer out of this NARS palette I think it's the Laguna bronzer yeah and then put it where my wing would go if I was gonna do a wing. I'm going in with the Rem Beauty little eyeshadow palette, it's Millie's with the brown shadow and I'm just gonna put it where I would do a wing. Cause I want like a smoky-ish wing. You believe that Austin and Catherine are getting a divorce? I don't know these people. Oh, he's family Millie. Honestly, I can't believe it guys. I was an OG. Ace family person. Do you not remember when I used to watch them, Millie? Really? No, you are an OG. I remember being in like early, early high school and you watching them. I used to stay up at night when they were in like their first apartment. I actually found them on Instagram when they used to do like their little couple MySpace Pinteresty pictures. I found them on there when Catherine was pregnant with Elle and I used to wait up. They are the reason I wanted to do YouTube, I'm not going to lie. I'm not even going to lie. Because I was so, so into it when I was younger. And no no one else, like I didn't really watch anyone else on YouTube but them. And now they've gotten a... Uh, now they're getting a divorce. But it's been such a long time coming and I'm really super happy for them to be honest. Because I'm pretty sure that Austin McBroom is a bit of a cheat. Because we've all heard the rumours over the years and I think now, now that they're getting a divorce it's definitely true. Just going in with a bit of a darker shade right in the very corner. They're not amazing but they'll do. Okay, now I'm actually going to go in with my mascara. I might as well just get that over and done with. This is the Beauty Crop Nourishing Volumising Mascara. In Avo Cuddle it's called. I like to concentrate my mascara right on the ends of my eye because I feel like I've got quite cat eyes um, I don't really have round eyes so it just accentuates that a bit more. Using the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation, again I've had this for so long because foundations last me ages because I don't really wear that much foundation makeup in general. This is in the shade 7. I don't really have like a go-to makeup routine. Because I don't do it that often, every single time I go out, I wing it. Some, day, some days it's a good day, some days it's a bad day. <laughs> There's no in between. Should have really spot concealed first, but oh well. I'm gonna blend this in all over. This is looking very, very orange on camera, I'm not gonna lie. It will be fine. It will be fine. Trust the process, guys. She says and watch my makeup be crazy. Going back in with concealer. This is the Fit Me concealer in the shade. Who knows? Again, had it for so long. Um, bulk's going well. Training is amazing. It's absolutely insane the difference being on top of your nutrition, your water, everything makes. Like for especially the last couple months of 2023 my training was so so rubbish and I kept putting it down to oh maybe like I'm anemic again I need to get my bloods done maybe that's why I'm getting tired towards the end of my sessions this that and the other but it genuinely was just because I was paying no attention to my nutrition and my water intake I think honestly night most times throughout the year i walk around quite dehydrated water is just not something that i enjoy having <laughs> or nor something that i really think about for, throughout my day but 
coming into this year I really really wanted to focus on it and it's something that I actively think about throughout my day now so I'm getting so much more water in and I think that in combination with you know the supplements that I'm taking and being on top of my food because again towards the end of last year food I was just eating what I want which of course I like to do it's good to give yourself a bit of a break from tracking and things but if you have a set fitness goal in mind it's absolutely necessary to you know have them protocols in place in order to get to your end goal so yeah this year so far training has been amazing i'm really really enjoying it got a new program back with zach my split is i'm going to do a full week of workouts in this next couple of weeks but my current split is lower body day one push lower body day two pull and then a another lower body session but that does have some delts in there but it is very glute focused when zach asked me what i wanted to achieve this year i just said i desperately want to grow an ass like i want a huge bum i want a bum where you're walking around the gym and people go oh, she's had a bbl she's had a bbl she's had a bbl when i haven't I've just wet my ass off and ate a load of food. <laughs> that is what I want this year. So I think I'm gonna bulk throughout the entirety of this year and then run another, you know, cut period post Christmas this year, which is obviously miles away. So God knows if I change my mind, but that is what I've got in mind right now. If you didn't know, gaining muscle is a lot long process it's not like weight loss where you can do it in eight weeks for example like i did my cut you have to invest your time energy and be consistent over a sustained period of time that's just the way way the cookie crumbles unfortunately but i'm excited for the journey i'm excited to take you guys along on it i know a lot of you are also bulking this time of year um i see you on my instagram tagging me in your posts so it's exciting although it's um you know a long process it's going to be exciting i'm just going back in with some more concealer in the areas i want to be a bit more sculpted so i'm putting it underneath my cheekbone where i'm going to put my contour in just a second and then a bit more under my eyes because i felt like i didn't really put a lot there and i'm just gonna dab it on like so and then I'll blend it in with my beauty blender so yeah bulk's going well I'm gonna keep doing that like I said over the next couple of weeks I'm gonna film a full week of workouts so you can see the exact kind of protocols I'm running um, and sessions you can give them a go if you want to give them a go um, all written up by Zach. He does my workout program, my diet plan, how many steps I'm doing, what supplements I'm taking, everything he does, um, which I'm so, so grateful for. I definitely couldn't do it without him. He just keeps me a lot more accountable, especially when I have to check in on a weekly, sometimes twice a week basis. It just makes me make sure that I'm on everything throughout the entirety of the week. Now I'm going to go in with the Mama Mitchell Cream Blush. This is really running out because I absolutely love it. And I've just popped it onto the back of my hand and I'm just going in with my beauty blender. On the high points of my cheeks. Blush just literally pulls everything together. Any more updates for you? I have um, a new manager, agent which is obviously so, so new to me. It's pretty crazy. But they just handle, you know, any collabs that I do. I'm trying to like widen the work that I do because obviously my pages are so, so fitnessy, um, which, which is what I want it to be, to be honest. But I also like to work with other brands. I'm so, so into makeup and fashion things like that as you know I'm such a girl's girl um but I don't really get them opportunities coming to me or if I do I don't really like 
even notice them because I'm so into like my fitnessy content and that is my main focus it's my job at the end of the day and it's also something I enjoy doing every single day but if I can widen my horizons and you know work with other brands so so exciting I think I got some I got quite a few bits um gifted this week which was so so nice and exciting some bits from beauty works some th bits from garnier and i'm just excited to really trial stuff on tiktok and on hair and give you guys like my full opinion of everything so that's exciting and i'm excited to take you along the little journey i feel like you'll see the transition in my content and i want you guys to be honest with me and if you like it if you don't like it um what you want to see more from me i know you're always asking me for like makeup -y stuff which is why i'm doing this but if there's anything else that you want me to do try on hauls etc then just let me know down in the comments because i want to do what you guys want me to do at the end of the day so yeah stay tuned for all this new content i really just want to in general just step up my content be more consistent with my content because i know i produce a lot i post every single day on instagram i'm trying to post twice a week on youtube i post on tiktok but i still don't feel like i'm doing enough so if there's anything else that you guys really want to see then honestly just let me know dm me drop me a message in my comments anything because it really 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 just goes a long way and is highly appreciated I'm just dusting off my entire face with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter Powder. I will go in with setting powder after this but I like to set my whole entire face with this before I do that. Next up, bronzer and blush. Going back in with that NARS Laguna and Peach Gasm palette just to bronze up my face. Go over them areas that I've bronzed and blushed up just to set them even more in place. That's bronzer done. Now I'm going to go in with blush. I'm going to use the Dior, what's it called this? Rosy blush, I think. I'm going home with the blush here. And I always find that I do my makeup in front of this like light leave go to another room with not this bright light and i'm like oh you've put on too much blush courtney but you can never have too much blush going in with the laura mercier powder and the trigwell cosmetics powder puff i like to put it on my hand again like that before going in with it millie said i need to snatch my nose by really lightening up the sides which is what I'm doing. I only like to bake in the centre of my face under my eyes just to really really get that brightening effect there. I'm speaking like I'm a makeup artist, I'm really not. Just a wannabe one. You were a makeup artist. I was. Fun fact. Fun fact about me, I really wanted to be a makeup artist when I was younger. I've just always, you know what it is, I've just always been a content girl. And that was the most consuming um, content on YouTube, <laughs> other than the Ace family as well. Um, makeup tutorials, I used to sit and just watch them all night long. Not be able to afford the makeup that they were wearing, but I'd be like, oh I really need that. And then I'm going to go underneath my cheekbone here. And that is face baked. Now that that's sitting underneath my eye, I'm actually going to go in with the bronzers and brown shades just slightly underneath my eye. So it follows up with them little wings that I did. The dress I'm wearing is from O Polly. I actually just had a voucher. Um, that I needed to use. It's from the new Valentine's Day collection. It's really nice. One good thing about this lip liner, it's not creamy at all. It's stiff, so I feel like it lasts a lot longer. And then I also have 
the same lip liner in a different colour which is a bit lighter called tiramisu I'm just going to go in with that and blend it into it Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in cover star and I'm just going to put that right in the centre of my lip with that same beauty blender from before I'm just going to go in around and set press the powder in where I've been baking because I don't want to bake for too long I'm trying to, to decide whether I want to do gloss or not I think I want to this is the Kiko gloss in who knows who knows but it's like this really nice nudie um, and it's got like a sparkle in it as well. And that, I think, is the makeup done once I've set my face with some setting spray. This is the Beauty Crop Glow Milk Mist. I think it's the one with Amelia Olivia. That is my makeup done. I might just go in slightly with some bronzer underneath the eye, but I think that is it. As you can see guys, the rollers are now out. And I have a couple questions to answer before I close out this video. What is your lip combo? I've just answered that question in this video. So rewind if you didn't pick that up. Favourite ESN flavours. So, this, I feel like I've got my favourite flavours down now. So, cinnamon cereal is probably my ultimate fave. They did a Christmas um, kind of flavours selection collection over the Christmas period obviously. And they had apple strudel. I am begging them to bring that back because it's so freaking nice that would have been my number one but obviously it was only a limited edition christmas flavor the alternative to that would be just cinnamon cereal because it's got a really really cinnamony flavor as you can imagine um chocolate fudge i love to have chocolate fudge in my protein oats because i like to have chocolate oats for my breakfast so that would be for my oats and then my other favorite flavor would be white chocolate pistachio which is also divine so they're my three favorite um protein um flavors the designer way protein flavors and then in my other products that i really really use and go for in my daily i love the raspberry iced tea and what else do i have my electrolytes i love the cherry flavor and same in the crack pump pro which is my pump products both of them in cherry so they're my favorite esm flavors Somebody asked how did me and Jacob meet and I think that's going to be my last question. So me and Jacob met in Ayanapa on a girls and lads holiday, obviously separate. I was on my first girls holiday um, and he was on definitely not his first lads holiday but he was on his lads holiday as well. Um, we didn't exactly meet there because we didn't have a conversation there but we knew of each other whilst we were there. Um, and I'd like seen him in a couple of the clubs that were over there and bars and then it wasn't until we both got back that we started to chit chat back and forth and that is how we met and then literally from the moment that we started dating and seeing each other we've been in each other's pockets ever since so many people ask this question and I think it is quite cute that we met on our like on my first girls holiday um but yeah that is a little get ready with me i'm happy with my makeup i think usually i like to pop you know some individual lashes oh that's smudging um on the edge of my lashes just like a couple but i don't have any in unfortunately but now i'm gonna go and get changed and i'll quickly show you my fit so this is the final makeup which you've seen but this is in a bit of a different angle a bit more up close 
I'm not 100% in love with it, but it will do. This is the dress. It's from Old Polly's Valentine's Day collection. You can see the little love hat here. I'll insert some images. Ooh, I'll insert some images on the screen so you can see it a little bit better. I could show you in this mirror, but it's so dirty in my room. Is a treasure. But that is the end of today's video. If you did like it, please, please, please like and subscribe down below. And I will see you all next time. Mwah.